write rhymes, I write checks. My All right, coming up next, a matchup for the UFC heavyweight division title. So here is the heavyweight power threat, Francis Ngannou. A couple of outliers on his resume, the weird fight against Derek Lewis, but he came back in a big way. Back-to-back -back knockouts of Curtis Blades and Cain Velazquez that put him right back into heavyweight title contention. If you're a fan of the sport and you see a young fighter like Francis Ngannou, that's exactly the type of response you want from him when he had a rough go. Go back to the drawing board, come back re-motivated. Focus on the task at hand. Start knocking people out. Get back. Use what got you to the show in the beginning. In the knockout of Blades, in the knockout of Kane, show that Francis Ngannou is once again ready to move himself back into title contention. And his knockout of Alistair Overeem in 2017, the knockout of the year, Spaceship. according to most. Spaceship. Overeem's still in order. Yes, he is. Yes. All right, so here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? for this, our main event of the evening. Ngannou is 10 years his senior. He weighed in at 250 pounds even. He will have a 10-inch reach advantage. Now to get us started, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Bergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 23 wins, seven losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France, presenting the challenger, Francis the Predator and God. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 19 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 220 pounds. Fighting out of Mexico City, Mexico. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Flag. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back to your corners, come on. fight. It could be a quick night at the office. We shall find out in short order. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? 
Yeah, the one-two punch is true. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this juncture. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Trying to kick the leg out. Lands flush with that right hand. Big pause for punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, beautiful hook. Back and forth we go. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. He missed with that jab attempt there. Great punch. Beautiful body kick land right under the elbow. Display with that offering nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Oh. Big knee there to the chest. An uppercut landed. Now they're both throwing with power. Oh. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Good stick. What a body kick. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Oh, and the ankle pick to get him down. We'll see if he can capitalize. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Big knee land. And he landed the right hand there. Gets tagged again on the inside. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. Okay, you ready, round two? Ready? Let's go, guys, fight! He blocks the punch. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corners look... This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He landed a massive hook to put his opponent on Wabu Lake. Now goes in and secures the takedown. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Down into his mouth. This is a terrible position. An attack an arm bar. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. Now he falls back into the finishing position. Submission beautifully executed there on the ground. Let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by 
submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. All right, so there is the consensus baddest man on the planet, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion, your winner tonight by way of submission. He leaned on the grappling. That was the path of least resistance, and that is the man they are all chasing for UFC heavyweight gold. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Lugliotta is going to stop in this contest at two minutes, nine seconds of round number two, declaring the winner by tap out due to an on bar. And still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. The and still the baddest man on the planet, and now with another highlight for the real, the heavyweight champion submits the number one contender here tonight and now celebrates with his corner after just a monumental performance here tonight. I'm not sure we've ever seen him perform more cleanly or more efficiently than he did here tonight. Your heavyweight champion and still a winner by submission tonight.